Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 5 news video and this is an exciting one because we do have a release date for the West Coast mainline Overshap uh, and it's coming soon. So uh, tap into 1980s nostalgia, 1986 uh, and run up Just Trains' stunning and immersive West Coast mainline Preston to Carlisle, uh, which is going to be releasing on the 21st of November. So only, well, under a month's time now. Um, yeah, West Coast, Mainline, West Coast Mainline Overshap. So, uh, Just Trains are one of our program partner developers who work on their own routes and locomotives for Trains in World. Last year, Just Trains made their Trains in World debut with the release of the Blackpool Branches route add-on featuring the Pacer. And still, like, in terms of quality, the best UK route we have. Um, that's a nice screenshot. I don't know what state. Where's that? So yeah, I mean, this is oh, this is Carlisle. Carlisle. So you've got a 101 there, an 87, and then well, another 87 and a 101. Looking, looking good. Um, for their next release, they've continued to push the boundaries by developing the longest UK route in Trainsom World, and introducing more sought-after rolling stock with the class 87 and the Mark 3A coaches. A full timetable of 1980 services feature in the add-on along with conductor mode functionality and plenty of layering for players that own other routes and locomotive add-ons. So I'd assume that would be, well, owning Blackpool Branches, Northern Trans Pennine, Tees Valley, the sort of BR routes. Um, there's a lot to get into, so let's have a look. So rolling still, look at that there, that's a nice screenshot. Look at that, the 87. They look really nice. They look good. Um, See so yeah, the Class 87, uh, Plus Mark 3As, FFAs and FGA container flats and BBA still. Oh, that's quite good. So we're getting well, more containers, uh, more container flats or whatnot. Uh, new to Trenton World is the Class 87 electric locomotive, the first electric locomotive to be added to the British fleet in-game. This um, classic traction from the 1970s quickly became the star of the West Coast Mainline during the 1980s when the nationalised British Rail branding was widespread across the entire UK network. In game, the Class 87 will provide a totally unique driving experience in Trenton World. An advanced style of operation offers a real challenge to players familiar with more modern electric units and diesel locomotives, and is equally distinct from the large roster of electric locomotives seen in German add ons. Yeah, it's going to be, I mean, if I remember this from Trainsome Classic, um, like all the controls are different, and it's, I think, it's, is it a tap, tap changer, tap charger, whatever they call it? So yeah, it's a bit more advanced. It's not just forward and then power, brake. Um, cool. Oh, it's looking really good. Uh, right, it just trains his own word. This loco takes you back to the much more interesting time when you drove a bit more by the seat of your pants and had to think and plan a lot more. At the centre of this oh yeah, is tap changer operation. This phrase will be familiar to players of some of the older German locos in Trends and World, like the BR-103 and the Triple One. With this comes a degree of jeopardy with the potential to fail if not operated correctly. Now, the main circuit breaker will trip cutting power to the dry motors if you try and demand higher power than the train can supply. Yeah, so it's it's, it's a weird locomotive when it comes to driving it. Um, yeah, unlike anything else really. So it's going to be weird, it's going to be a challenge. But it should be fun. So, well, it will be fun. Uh, in addition to this, the Class 87 has a number of notable and unique features, so authentic neutral section operation, if only the West Coast Mainline South had that. Uh, fully accessible loco corridor, um, so the machine room. Uh, fully authentic sound set supplied by AP, awesome. A uh, unique and large long number of locomotive nameplates included, it includes two liveries, locomotive operating tutorials, abilities start from a do totally dead state, that's new and realistic simulograph train dynamics. Uh, Just Trains have also employed the use of a real Class 87 engineer to ensure and driver to ensure the authentic, uh, authenticity of the in-game driving experience and a sort of a uh, colour washed out shot there a bit. Nice. Um, so though today uh, they have been replaced by more modern EM. Basically these are like the Pendos like before the Pendos came in. Um, a single mainline certified example of the Class 87 still sees rail tour action along the West Coast mainline, much to do, uh, much to the delight of enthusiasts. 
Players with Trenton or Fives core West Coast mainland route will be able to use free roam to run rail tour services in a modern setting. And players of the deluxe edition may also wish to operate the Pendolino on well, the West Coast mainline over chat. Very, very nice. Have a quick sip of the tea whilst we uh, indulge in the image. Very nice. Uh, also new to Trenton mode are the equally or eagerly awaited Mark 3A passenger coaches, which permit, uh, were permitted to run, achieve a slightly higher speed, 110 miles an hour over the Mark 2 variants, 100 miles an hour. Wee, the Class 101's back. Oh, veteran. Uh, running alongside the high-speed express services are local trains served by the 101, uh, as previously seen in Northern Transpennine and Tees Valley. Uh, there they are. That's old but cool. Uh, these classic first-generation DMUs from the 1950s ran through until 2003 and saw action across a large number of main and branch lines, including the Northwest. Uh, so the 101 has been updated, so you've got suspension physics, enhanced audio, updated interior ex te textures, updated destination blinds, and exhaust smoke effects. And, yeah, well, apparently you don't need any other add-ons. It's Well, if you want the 101, it's part of the route. And we're going to the 08 shunter as well, so that's sort of returning. Uh, offering up shunting gameplay is the dependable class 08 shunter, this ubiquitous legend to seen action across eight decades, from its original use in depots and yards, frequented by steam locomotives, through to use in the preservation movement and continued use on mainline yards into the 21st century. I mean, this thing is a veteran. Uh, class 08 services will occupy the yards and stations at Preston and Carlisle, providing a shorter, more engaging style of gameplay that involves moving stock between roads and getting trains ready for haulage by other locomotives. Very nice. Oh my god, we're getting another one, the 47 as well. We're getting the 47 as well, that's about four, fourth train, four trains now. Uh, for players wanting a familiar locomotive to operate between Preston and Carlisle, the 47-4 returns. Um... And yeah, I assume it's the JT one from Blackpool branches. Uh, the difference in operation between this and the 87 will, will offer two distinct uh, experiences for players along the length of the route and a way for players to learn the route prior to taking on the challenge of the 87. Foliage, water, everything just looks really good and the OHLE of course. Uh, these locomotives feature nameplate and livery variation as well as some smoke effect improvements and visual impro differences over some of the older versions. Um, right, now we get on to the route. So Preston to Carlisle with the Morecambe branch. Uh, with almost 100 miles of track included, the West Coast Mainline Overshap is the longest UK route in Trenton World. This dramatic and high-speed stretch of line forms part of the much longer Rail World West Coast Mainline extending from London Euston through to Scotland. And that is a nice thing. Let me just have another sip of cup of tea whilst we, uh, whilst we study the uh, screenshots there. Very nice. Cool. Um, right. Uh, Preston will be familiar to players of Just Train's previous add-on, Blackpool Branches, uh, who will be able to make use of Train Small 5's new route hopping feature to port between the two add-ons. Cool. Uh, this northern city, so Lancaster, uh, whose name links to the famous House of Lancaster and the wider county of Lancashire. It's also where a branch line splits off for some additional short-form gameplay to the seaside town of Morecambe via uh, Bar Lane? Bear Lane? Train will pass through Carnforth Station, where during this era the Steamtown Museum was located. Oxenholme, further north, then provides the World Rail jumping-off point for passengers keen to explore the Lake District. Uh, on this stretch, the famous Shap Summit will provide a challenge for those driving any kind of traction, climbing up to the highest point of the West Coast Main Line. Never nice screen. So there's loads more screenshots to look at as well, this is just some of them. After a caught pen rift towards the northern end of the Lake District, players will reach the city of Carlisle, which not only features the station, but also has the nearby Kingmore Depot. Very nice. Um, I feel like it's going to bring up an ad if we do that. But yeah, just trains if you want to see the little timetable thing, Majiggy. Uh, the time lapse. So the timetable uh, for this portion of the West Coast mainland will depict a full 24-hour weekday based on the working timetable from the era and a trip notice booklet for the region. 
This will use the available rolling stock to feature high speed express trains running from Preston through to Carlisle as well as local main and freight services including the Morecambe branch line. Also featured is up to 6 hours of shunting gameplay at Carlisle using the 08. Now oh, and there's obviously a rail tour there for, that looks like the Flying Scotsman as well. Cool. So, uh, players with other add-ons in their collections, other routes, other DLC. Uh, so if you've got Blackpool branches, you'll have the Pacer and the T-Wagons. West Cornwall Local will, will give you the Sea Cow and Turbot Wagons. The Teeds Valley Line will, it will give you the HEA Wagons. Northern Trans Pan Arm will give you the Peak Class 45. Spirit of Steam for the Jubilee, uh, Mark 1 Coach's 16-ton Mineral Wagon and 20-ton Brake Van. BR Heavy Freight Pack for the 40. Uh, and the 31 and 20 for, well, the 30 and the 21 and the wagons, and also the Flying Scotsman. Uh, oh, it has been reduced for 8th generation consoles, but I mean, that's really to be expected at this stage. Uh, scenarios. The amount of detail within that, within that sort of uh, setting, that they've even got like a high-vis as well. I mean, little details like high-vis jacket there, um... Yeah, no, oh, that's brilliant. Very, very good. So five scenarios broken down. Tap changer, current collection. Oh, look at that. Good screenshot. Let me, let me sort of. Yeah, if you want to sort of read it, feel free to pause it. But I'm not really a, a scenario person. Southbound liner, first generation stopper. So quite a few scenarios on here. There's another. Oh, that's that bar lane or bear lane. Cool. And signal box, which does look like you can go in it as well. Uh, mastery challenges, uh, yeah, that'd be that's some of that as well. Oh, and uh, price, it's not twenty nine ninety nine, it's thirty two ninety nine. So it's a few quid more than your usual add on, but then this is going to be a lot, you know, higher quality, and it's also ninety, well, m almost a hundred miles. So you're really getting your money's worth out of this pack. Uh, or I mean out of this DLC so I know some people might be like oh, 32 99 rip off but it's almost a hundred miles you're getting tons and tons of trains with it um, and it's just trains so you know it's going to be very very well worth it and let me quickly um, get the other screenshots up because there's a few more which released the last few days there's the 08 there uh, we've seen that one already got one here the 87 with some freight on the back uh, I got one of those sort of gas storage places, and at no eight, the one oh one. Well, that seems to be is that Kingmore possibly. Uh, a lot of stuff going on there. Forty seven oh eight, eighty seven I think, forty seven there. Another couple of nice screens. There's quite a few on here actually. And uh, there's that one which we've seen, I think, and then that one there as well. Very moody, and murky and foggy. Um, but yeah. Um, let me go back to that cool. What was that cool one? Yeah, uh, that's gonna be everybody. Uh, so yeah, we do have a release date for the West Coast Manor Overshap coming out on the twenty first of November for the price of thirty two pounds ninety nine pence. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Uh, we'll be showing this off when it comes off. Very very much looking forward to it. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and hopefully see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.